Hey friends, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This video is all about pivot tables. I'll be creating a pivot table from scratch. And if you are a beginner, this will be a great video for you because I'll be covering everything from start to finish. I'll be posting two to three videos on pivot table. And this is the first of it. Watch it till the end and you will definitely learn something new. And if you are completely new, this is going to be a great video. So let's start. This is your data. Now for creating a pivot table, first convert your data into a table format. And to do that, the shortcut is press Ctrl T. A dialog box will open and it will ask you create a table make sure my tables and headers is checked and say okay as soon as you do this directly come to the table name and give it a name name you can give anything let me give source one now come to table styles and if you don't like this style you can scroll it down and you can choose anything you like it i like light one so i'll go with the light one now let's create a first pivot table to do that come to a new sheet click on the insert and click on the pivot table tab the table range name it asks so the one which we have saved is s-o-u-r-c -E, source one say okay and your pivot table is created now if you see the right side it's a pivot table field pane where you have all your headers of the data set and here are the columns rows values and filters where you can drag it generally this is not the form you will see the normal format what you will see is it's in this way but what happens is like you have to scroll if your data is very big to avoid this what you can do if you have this format visible just click on the settings and click field selections and area selection side by side so you get like this now if you have many data also you don't have to scroll it now let's create a first pivot table suppose if we want to know the total amount of our data set so what i will do is i'll take a total amount and drag it to the values and this is our first pivot table created as soon as we drag it let's give a pivot table name and make it as a habit i don't have it and i face a lot of issues later when i want to give connections through a slices for few pivot tables i want to give and few pivot tables i don't want to give but since i don't name it it creates a huge problem so start creating a name uh, for this i'll say total amount you got this now if you want to change the header you can do a double click get a total amount you can just remove this now when you say okay it will not save because total amount name is already there in this field so what you can do is if you want to still save with the total amount you can come here and do a space now it will create as a separate name and say okay so you got the total amount now you don't have to create another pivot table for another data you can just copy this and paste it here okay now the second pivot table is created but before doing that the one or two important steps what i do is i'll do a right click go to pivot table options i will go to total filters and check this allow multiple filters per field now since you are new to it let me show you with an example i'll do a copy copy of pivot table and i'll paste it here now suppose if i drag expense type onto the rows now i want to add two filters here first filter i just want to look for air and hotel i'll say okay and now i want to add another filter which is greater than 55000 because so i want only air should be visible so to do that i'll go a scroll down value added filter greater than i'll say 55000 when i say okay i should get only air now when i say okay you see it gives me meals also what happens is like the first filter which we have put for air and hotel only it's gone because that value was not checked let me just remove this and again i will copy but this time i'll do a right click pivot table options total filters allow multiple fields per field say okay i will copy this paste it here again i will take expense type in the rows column now i will add two filters again i want to see only air and hotel now i want to add a value filter which is greater than double five double zero double zero now you can see i see only air so both the filters were there since we have checked that okay that is one important step you have to do and now what i will do is here only i'll do a number format now i'll do a right click go to a number format and i'll go to a currency and if i don't want a decimals i will not take the decimals and i will say okay before that i'll just choose the dollar symbol so it relates to everyone and i'll say okay and second thing i'll do is i'll make the alignment perfect why i'm doing it now if i copy it copy and paste it the alignments diff number format and the pivot table options if i go and show you in the total filters it's already checked i don't have to do again and again for other every pivot table okay since we are copy pasting it now remove it here and add it here now suppose i want to add a filter here how to add a filter suppose i want to see the only the cash transactions so what i can do is the payment through because our payment through in the data set if you see here our payment through is all about cash and card now i'll come to a sheet one I can take this payment through and drag to the filters. As soon as I drag filters here, you can see another option is added. Now I can 
scroll down click on the select multiple filters remove card and now i see only cash value so this is how you can add a filter now suppose if you don't want to add a filter you want to do a bifurcation here only in the pivot table so how can you do that just remove this filter click here if you want to remove it from filter click here and drag it outside it's gone now now what i will do instead of adding on the filters i take a payment through and I will add it on the rows. Now you can see we got the bifurcation card and cash. So this is how you can do it. Now suppose if you want to change the name of this, you can do a double click and write it payment through. Now let's see grouping data by month, quarters and year. But I want to see by transaction date. So I click transaction date and put it in rows. See it gives me in this way like every line item it is giving me. But I don't want like this. I want years, months and quarters. And if whenever you get this kind of data, it's very easy to fix it. How you can do is click anywhere on your pivot table. Go to pivot table analyze and click on the group field. Now you can hold the control key. Click on quarters. Click on years and say OK. And now you see 2023 quarter 1 Jan, Feb, March. Quarter 2 J April may june again 2024 starts here now the best part is suppose if you don't want quarters you can drag it outside very good part is the quarters data is still there in the pivot table field so whenever you want to add it you can add it on any other pivot tables and now let me show you how you can change this format as well now go to a design you will see report layout right now this is in the compact form because it is coming 2023 and below that it is done now if you click on the outline form you can see there is a separate column for 2023 separate column for month separate column for two total amount now again if you go to the design report layout click on the tabular form it's separate but little bit different again if you go here and suppose if you want to repeat 2023 on every line item report layout repeat all items don't want to repeat don't repeat if you want to add a blank you can just come here insert a blank line after each item so you see after 2023 it added an another line item if you don't want remove the blank now suppose if you don't want the subtotals come here do not show subtotals subtotals are gone it will give you only a grand total if you want show subtotals at the bottom of the group it will show you at the bottom of the group if you click here at the top of the group it will show you at the top of the group now i want to see it in the compact format for now i'll click on the compact and i got it in the compact format another tip suppose i have a filter here but i want to add a filter on the total amount as well and pivot table doesn't give that option to us a pre-built filter but it's very easy to add it put your cell after the total amount okay and then press the shortcut ctrl shift l and you will see you got the filter here also and this is the only way you can add a filter for the total amount and now you can choose any numbers if you want to if you want to remove again ctrl shift l the filter is removed so that is another tip for you now let me show you another tip in this suppose i add year let's add it year above payment through now suppose if I put payment through first and years later, so it will give card 23, 24. Now suppose if I just change it, drag it and put it above payment through. Now you can see in 2023, it gives first card and cash and then 2024 card and cash. Now suppose if you want to see cash first, you can just come here simply and type cash and you can see for 2024, it will all automatically change. Now see first cash and card, cash and card. You want card, just type card. And it will automatically change for the entire pivot table for you. Excel automatically adjusts the order across all the expense types. And it is very easy to add the growth percentages in pivot table. You don't have to know any other formula. Now let's calculate monthly growth compared to the previous month and the same month in different year. Basically previous month, suppose if you want to see how much there was a growth compared to the Jan in Feb for the same year. To do that, what you can do is you can either change it here or you can take total amount again and drag it to the values and do a right click here click on the show value hash take the percentage difference firm a dialog box will open in this keep it months because you want to see for the same year and base item will be previous you want to compare it with the previous month and say okay and you can see for jan it will not give anything because there is nothing before jan okay but for feb you can see there was 11 percent increase and in march there was a 7 percent decrease compared to feb and when you come to 2024 it will again start as a fresh for jan it will not give you anything but for feb it will give you 5 percent increase for march it was minus 1.5 percent decrease so this is how you can do it now suppose if you want to compare jan versus jan like jan 2023 versus jan 2024 feb 2023 versus feb 2024 you can do it easily what you can do is do a right click again show value as percentage difference from instead of month select years now you can see this will be blank but if you see jan it was 78000 and jan 2024 it was 96000 so there was 22 percent increase likewise it will compare feb to feb march to march and suppose if you want to add a running total and monthly contribution running total what i mean by that first one will be 78000 but second item here will be 
calculation of calculation of both of this do a right click show value as running total in select it base field will be month and say okay now you can see first one will be 78439 but second one if you add this two you will get 166 third one will be adding all the jan feb march and it will give you the march cumulative total and so on now suppose if you want to know the monthly contribution for the entire 2023 like jan contributed how much feb contributed how much how to do that even that is very easy do a right click go to show value as and click on percentage of parent total not the row not the column percentage of parent total click here you will see base field as years you will not take months you will take years and say okay now you can see okay in 2023 out of 100% 7% for jan 8% was february and likewise 10% was october and you so on and for 2024 again it will start fresh and now you can easily track monthly trends and contributions so this is how easy it is when you use a pivot table if you want to know only for the 78,000, okay and once you do a double click a fresh file will open and it will give you only for that 78,000. Suppose if I show you the addition here, you will see that 78,439 here. Okay, my cursor is, cursor is here. So likewise, when you go click any of it, it will give you the entire data for that particular number you have clicked on. Second video will be about creating a dashboard related to pivot table. You will easily able to create this dashboard. I'll show you step by step how to add slices, how to add this format and everything in the next video. But if you like the first video, please do comment, share, subscribe, watch it till the end. It, it will help me and also suggest me if it was good enough for you. Thank you so much.